Hi there, I'm Lisa, welcome to my channel today. Today we are putting together a gallery wall. Um, we have a few of these in the house. We really like how they look and how we can display lots of pieces of art. So I thought today I would take you and show you how we've put ours together. We've already created this one on the dine, on the sorry living room wall. Again, lots of pieces as you can see. We've got some pieces that I've made here, like the larger piece. This other piece, for example, was um, an atlas that I bought in a charity shop. And I also picked up the frame as well another time. And I've done things like um, added fabric to the embroidery loops. We've framed maps got an empty frame there so they're really fun to make. We've also created this Disney inspired gallery wall going up the stairs and we've got some memorabilia like our magic bands, we've got the big collage, canvases and then we've got various framed photographs. I really like the wall here. Today we're going to walk, work on this wall here. It's just above where the dining room table goes. I've just got a chair left there at the moment and we have a very sad looking canvas which is going to be moved. Last year we were lucky enough to take a rather large US road trip. We started in New York, went down to Washington DC and then we traveled across Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky and into Indiana where my dad lives. Um, we had such an amazing time. It really was a life time, time a life-changing holiday and we wanted to just have some memorabilia and some fun bits to remind us of the times on our wall. So that's what we're working on today. The gallery wall is to be inspired by our road trip. First things first, you need to decide what you want on your gallery wall. We've been collecting pieces and deciding now for just under a year. It's not something that's come together really fast and the other gallery walls were exactly the same. Um, we picked up this piece here, the large map in Next recently. I want to work on that and do something to that. I've made the canvas myself. There was a previous tutorial which I will link up. Picked up a couple of yellow frames, the yellow being inspired by New York the cabs and also we have quite a few bits of yellow in the living room, the dining area, so um, that works really nicely. I want to print off some photos for those. Love this little pin board, this clipboard here that my husband bought me that from um, HomeSense for my birthday, not last year, the year before. I picked up this little piece of art, it's a mini po a little postcard from eBay, which I really like when I was searching for New York art and I framed that. And then, I love this, we have this big wooden arrow. It's chunky, it's varnished, and it's had road trip printed on it. I've actually had this made. Again, I will leave the link below. I'm really pleased with that. And I'm going to be adding some little Polaroid photos to that, which I will also show you how to make. We then lay everything out. The space is measured. We've measured the wall space, how much space we have and we've laid it out how we think it's roughly going to go so we can just make sure before we start hammering things and screwing things into the wall that everything will fit and will go where we want it to go. I'm leaving Aid in control of all the tools as this really isn't my forte. He's got various screws and things, hammer, wall plugs, and it looks like a screwdriver and a spirit level. We're starting off by finding a central point for the main piece of art and then we're going to build everything else around it. Well, the first one is up and it's level on the wall. On to the next one now. I can't believe you just hijacked my video. Do you want to do it? No, you do it's, fine. No, 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 it's absolutely fine. No, you can do it. No. So while Aid's put the first piece up, I have printed off a couple of photographs for the frame, um, both from New York. I've just edited this one. Um, just to enhance the colours. This one I've edited on PicMonkey. I will leave the link below. I've gone for a slight black and white tone, but I've got a few red tones in there, which I love. I'm going to pop those in the frame now. Little tip there, Aid always makes a pocket with an A4 piece of paper attaches it to the wall so that when you drill, most of the mess goes inside the pocket. Next piece is up and we're just adding a tiny little bit of blue tack to the bottom of the canvas just to hold it in place neatly. 
Abe's working on the wall at the moment. I'm working on the photographs. My next bit is to print off the Polaroids. I want to pin some Polaroids onto the large wooden arrow here. I'm just measuring just to make sure that I don't print them too large and I've decided to go for two and a half inches long. So I'm going to go and get those printed. I've just printed off my first photograph. It's a Polaroid and I'll show you in a moment how I've done that. Um, just so you can see to scale, this is a, on an A4 piece of paper, photo paper. So my photo is quite diddy. There, you can just see it measures, you can just see there, it measures just two inches uh, wide and it's two and a half long. I'm going to cut it out and take it over to the arrow just to see how well it fits. So just having a look now, that first photo fits in perfectly. I'm really pleased with that so I can continue doing the rest. To attach it, I've got these push pins, which a friend gave me, and I'm going to use those. The colors will go really well with our lounge. Now that I'm happy with my photograph and that it fits well, I'm going to show you how I use PicMonkey to make the Polaroids. Um, I've already opened up one photograph. PicMonkey is completely free, and I will leave the link below. I've opened up the photograph here that I want to turn into a Polaroid, that I want to turn into a Polaroid next. I'm going to, I've clicked on the frame, which is here. You can just see, you can see my arrow, the frame is there. I've clicked on that already. And now I'm going to choose my frame, which is a Polaroid. Okay. I don't want the Polaroid to be printed that way. It's over at an angle. I want to straighten it, so I rotate until it's straight. There we go. There's different options. There's the plane, which I'm on now, and then you can also do it so it looks slightly more aged and more sort of um, rustic. I'm going for the cleaner look. I'm really happy with that. And I'm also now going to add some wording below. So you click on the T here. That gives you your text. We want to apply the Polaroid frame. We've now adding the text. I want to enlarge that across. And now I'm going to type what I want to type. Stayed in the Radio City apartments. So Radio City was just down the road from us. So I'm going to add that. I've used, um, I've used a typewriter font. It's my favorite kind of font, but over on the side here there are lots and lots of different ones when you see the yellow I've actually paid for the premium package um, I said it's free but there are extras that you can have I use um, pick monkey all the time so I do pay I think it's something like $25 for the year so for me it's well worth it then all I want to do is save it there's the save and I'm going to call this Radio City oh, I'm just gonna call it radio I think and then we want to save it. It will save it then to my files. Nice and easy. You then open up your files. This is my day of the holiday here. I use um, Paint Shop Pro to print and edit my photos. So all you do then is select it to print. I want to make sure that it's the same size as the other photograph. And I'm good to go. And my next photo is now printed and ready to be trimmed down. Right, hold it. Do you want to have a look back? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, just that'll write that way. You don't need to go up a little bit. So I've got all my tiny little two by two and a half inch photos here. All ready to go onto the arrow which is here and I'm just gonna have a jiggle around and see how well they fit so I'm just pushing the photos into the arrow and I'm using a little bit of double-sided sticky tape on the back of each photo just to hold them in place so this is where I'm at I'm really pleased with this so far um, I like the fact that by sticking them down with a little double-sided sticky on the back you can just maneuver them around they're not completely stuck down and I've decided I've popped one pin in there. I've had to hammer it in slightly with my craft hammer. Um, I'm not going to add a pin to every single one. I think it would just be a bit too much. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm happy with them where they're situated and then push in a few more of those pins. 
So that's the gallery wall so far. I'm really pleased with that. It's coming along rather nicely. I almost finished there's just one more thing I want to do to that top map which I'm about to do now so this is the wooden map that we picked up from next I'll link you in if I can still find it online we bought it a few months ago now um, we're basically just working out the route that we took for the road trip and I've got some just simple yellow sewing floss embroidery thread here I'm hammering in a few little short backed green nails or pins I should say and then we're just looping around the yellow so We're just working out roughly where to put the pins. We have actually got loads of little stars um, on Google Maps that we used for the trip so it's actually worked out quite well to try and replicate the journey that we took. So the new gallery wall is now finished, I'm really pleased with it. Um, now that we've done the road trip there, you can just about see the yellow thread. It doesn't actually look that impressive now. It took so many days as well. Um, but we're planning on another road trip next year within the US and a slightly different one. So um, we've decided to do that one in blue thread. So that will be fun. But we're really pleased with that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's inspired you to create a gallery wall full of memories in your own home. If you have any questions, please do ask. Thank you, bye.